Hi everyone, this is Ganymede and welcome to my first ever tutorial. Today, I will be teaching you how to create your own PNG Tuber Plus avatar from the art to the rigging. As a preface, I have been creating PNG Tuber Plus avatars for 6 months now and I have gotten some requests to show you how I do it and specifically how to import avatars you receive from someone else. So I will be covering that in today's video as well. Now on to the first step of creating avatars which is the art. For PNG Tuber Plus avatars, there is a certain limit to how you can draw your characters. The recommended size is 750 by 750 pixels. You can get away with the larger canvas size up to your screen size but it's a bit harder to manage when you set it up for streaming purposes. When sketching the art itself, you need to take into account the space that will be for when your model moves or bounces. You need to have enough space in the sides as well as the top and the bottom of your sketch to make room for this. Here is an example of the recommended sketch size versus the not recommended one. For PNG Tuber Plus avatars, it's important to note that how you draw the art needs to be separated into different layers, kind of like how you would draw a live 2D avatar. Each movable part of your avatar needs to be separated in its own layer. You need to draw it fully as if you are drawing only that specific body part. You need to fill in what's called a void in the art. It might not appear if you flatten an image, but in the PNG Tuber Plus software, it might be seen when a part moves or rotates, therefore you must draw it so it looks complete. Here is an example of what a filled out void space looks like for reference. For this stage in the process, it does not matter how many layers you need to create your art. Once you're all done with the art, it's time to set it up for exporting. Merge all the layers for each body part as is previously discussed. Make sure to name your layers appropriately as to help you identify which part is which. Unlike Live 2D, the left and right labels do not matter. It only matters that you know which parts are which, as well as the part labels stay consistent to the side of the body that they are on. Now it's time to save all those individual layers. Make sure to create a folder for all the parts so they don't scatter across the rest of your files. If you are using Procreate, I salute you. Tip! If you are using CSP, you can Alt plus click on the layer visibility button to make it so that it only shows that single layer that you are exporting. Neat, huh? Before we begin, I would like to introduce and set a few key terms that I'll be using throughout this video. Number 1. Avatar. The avatar is what we will call the PNG Tuber Plus model as a whole. This is the rigged version of your art made inside the PNG Tuber Plus software. Number 2. Sprite. Each sprite is what we will call the individual art pieces that you will export into the program. What you call a layer in your art program, we will call a sprite in the PNG Tuber Plus software. Number 3. Layer Layers in PNG Tuber Plus work similarly to how layers work in an art program, with a few key differences. For example, a layer set to 1 will show over the layers set to 0, negative 1, and so on. And the layer set to negative 1 will show under layers 0 and up. Unlike in an art program, however, there could be multiple sprites that are set to a single layer, whereas in an art program, there is only one image available. When you first open up the PNG Tuber Plus software, you will see something like this. What you want to do first is to click on the mic icon and select the mic that you want to use for the avatar. Make sure to use the same mic as you have on OBS so that it will display the correct avatar state as you talk. You might also want to adjust the entry and exit gates, which are the sliders found at the bottom here. These are kind of like noise gates. You can set these according to your environment so that the software only picks up when you talk and not the background noises like dogs barking in the background. You can also choose the background color for the program. Normally, OBS can capture the software when it's transparent. 
but if you prefer to use a chroma key, there's an option for that as well. All you have to do is click on the gear icon on top of the mic icon and change it there accordingly. The next thing you want to do after setting up your mic is to copy and paste the file folder into PNGTuber Plus's file directory. You can do that by opening PNGTuber Plus, press escape, and that will open the file directory. Paste your file folder into that directory directly, and we can now proceed with importing files into the PNGTuber Plus software. What you want to do is click edit mode, this pencil icon on the bottom right, and click add new sprite button and add all your images into the software. It's gonna look messy at first, but you have to trust the process. Now that you've added all the images, it's time to clean it up and set layers. You can send each image layer forwards or backwards with the Q and E keys on your keyboard. Q puts a sprite to the layer below, while E lifts your sprite above. The more forward a layer is, the more it appears on top of the other layers. Having a layer backwards means it's below all of the others. You can see what layer an image is by looking at this number on the side here. You basically want the end product of this to end up looking like how it looks like in your art software. Before we move on to some more cleanup, let's tackle remapping the origin point real quick. This is the origin point of the sprite. This is automatically set to center when you import an image. What you want to do is remap the origin point to where the sprite will rotate from. For example, for arms, you want to set this towards the shoulder point. You can do so by holding the O key on your keyboard and using the WASD keys to move it. Once we've remapped all the origin points, we can move forward to linking sprites. Remapping the origin point before doing this is important because your sprites will move away from another part if you remap the origin after you link it. And you don't want that because there's no undo feature in this program yet. Or so I think based on my version of the program as of this recording. Linking sprites is kind of like putting muscles to the bones of your body. This makes sure that the parts will move appropriately according to how you set it. Taking my previous example, if you separate the arms, forearms, and hands, it will make sure that when the arm moves, the forearm and hands move as well, if you do it correctly. Here is my general linking hierarchy for your references. Next, let's talk about setting the facial features. 
When you select the sprite, in this case the mouth, you can see that there are some crossed out boxes here to the side that lets you set it so that it will only appear when you are talking and if you are silent. This works the same way for the eyes as well. You can mix and match these to your preference and it doesn't need to be just two options. You can also set other body parts to appear and disappear when the sprite is active or inactive. I do this with the model I made for Lux Silver here. The world is your oyster. PNG Tuber Plus is known for avatars that look bouncy as compared to the static ones you can see using Fuki Tech. To add bounciness to a sprite, click the sprite you want to add the bounce on and increase the squash parameter to your liking. For some models, it will look nice if there are some parts that independently move around. Let's take for example my wings here in this sprite. To animate the wings, we go to the second window in the sidebar here and set the X frequency and X amplitude to make it move horizontally. We do the same thing for Y frequency and Y amplitude for the vertical movement. So what's the difference between frequency and amplitude? Frequency is how fast the sprite moves. For example, if I increase the Y frequency for my wing, you can see that it moves much faster than the other wing I set to the lower value. Amplitude is how far the sprite moves. Increasing this value will make it so that the sprite moves farther and farther from its original position when you imported it. Now that we've covered the X and Y movement of the sprites, let's talk about rotating them. There are some instances where you want a sprite to be rotated as the avatar moves, examples of which would be movement from the shoulder, elbows, and the wrist. To rotate a sprite, you go to the rotational drag and adjust the value to your liking. Positive values make the sprite rotate clockwise, while negative values make it go counterclockwise. You can also limit the range of which the sprite moves. You can do so by scrolling down the sprite bar to the third section and adjusting the values of the parameters here. Its default is set to 180 and negative 180, but you can adjust these parameters so that it's appropriate for your designed rotation. You can see a little preview of the part moving around in the middle of the circle to help you visualize what it will look like. Alternatively, you can just talk into your mic and see what works from there. I find that a good average rotation is somewhere between 6 or negative 6, but you might find a value that suits your needs better. The GIF function is a relatively new addition to the PNG Tuber Plus software. To have something similar to this, you need to do a little extra for the sprites that you need the GIF function on. First, prepare the frames of the GIF in your art software. Once it's complete, you need to go and paste it into a new canvas similar in size to your original one. Next, you need to extend your canvas times the number of frames you have prepared. Set it up so that each frame takes up one original canvas space. Here's an example. There's probably a more efficient way to do this, but this is how I do it. Please let me know if there's a better way. Please. After you've saved and imported it into PNG Tuber Plus, you can go ahead and select that sprite, go to the sidebar here, and go to Sprite Frames. Set the number to how many frames you have in your GIF sprite. It should look something like this. PNG Trooper Plus has this neat feature where you can set costumes for your sprite. Costumes can range anywhere from actual costumes for your character, in this case a change of clothes, or even just a change of facial expression. 
To use this feature, simply scroll down to the very bottom of the sidebar and check or uncheck these numbers for each sprite you require. You can check multiple boxes for layers that appear on one or more costume, and you can change costumes by pressing 1 to 0 on your keyboard, in editing mode and in live mode. Saving your avatar is pretty straightforward. What you want to do is click on the floppy disk icon, name your file in the text box provided, and click save. And that's it! You're done! For exporting the PNG Tour Plus avatar, what you want to do is select the folder where all your sprites are, plus the save file that you just saved a few moments ago. Right click, and then send to Compress Zip Folder. Make sure that both the image folder and the save file is in one zip file or it won't work for other people. And that's it! You officially created your first PNG Tuber Plus avatar. You might have clicked on this video because you commissioned an artist for a PNG Tuber Plus avatar, or you received one from a friend. Using it is super simple. All you have to do is download the PNG Tuber Plus software here and download the zip file you received. Once you have both, open the PNG Tuber software and press escape on your keyboard. This opens up the PNG Tuber Plus file directory. You then unzip the zip file directly into this directory. Don't make any folders nor go in any folders. Just there in the directory where the escape button put you. To load up the avatar, Go back to the PNG Tuber Plus software, click the pencil icon in the lower right, and then click Load Avatar button in the rightmost button found on the top left of the screen. Select the save file, and then you're done! All you need to do is set up your mic settings and plug it into OBS, and you're ready to start VTubing as a PNG Tuber. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial on how to create and use your own PNG Tuber Plus model. I've adored this software from the moment I found out it exists, and I have been providing multiple people a chance to up their PNG Tuber game with my avatars. I hope this video was helpful to you and let me know what I should cover next. Atsumid!